Now, I will say this, right? Let me <laughs> address the elephant in the room here. So you have two Senka siblings here, because again, they're part of the same company. And the thing about these guys is they have multiple deployment options. So this guy is uh, very fidget friendly, right? So the way it works, you push the button and you don't just leave a press. You have to push and let go, push and let go, swing your hand and it opens, push and let go and it falls shut, right? That's it, simple as that. Hello and what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC. Today we're going to be reviewing this guy right here, the Civivi Elementum, the button lock. This is the OG button lock. There's now a new version of this guy, which is called the Civivi Elementum button lock 2. So it would be like combining the OG Elementum and the button lock Elementum and then putting all into the chassis for the original one. So I have like a button right here, but this is the OG Elementum. This is the OG Elementum button lock, which is a larger knife as you can see. So let's jump right into it here without further ado. Let's get some quick measurements on this guy here right off the bat, talking about overall length. This guy is gonna come in at, well, definitely over uh, eight inches actually. So exactly eight inches in length. So it's gonna be a whole one inch longer than the OG Elementum, right? This button lock, right? I think the reasoning here is that the blade has to be a little bit longer for the button lock being the only deployment option for that all to work out, right? So if you wanna swing the blade open, it has to be uh, a certain length, a certain weight. Blade cutting edge is gonna be three and a quarter. Uh, total blade length is gonna be around a little bit over three and a half. The full uh, handle here is gonna be around uh, four and a half. So those are your measurements right there. Let's do some quick comparisons here since we already have the OG Elementum right here, right? So OG Elementum is a little bit smaller. I feel like as soon as I got a chance to experience the Elementum button lock and feel the size of it, I'm like, this is the size that the Elementum should have came in from the get-go, right? And I wouldn't surprise if at some point they add a flipper tab to this bigger size Elementum. So I'll talk more about that as the video progresses later on. But yeah, that is one thing that definitely stuck out for me. Uh, since we're in the Civivi family, right? Let's toss in a Civivi Ortis, right? For some quick size comparisons right there. You guys be the judge of that. Uh, definitely the button lock there you know, eight inches overall is gonna be the biggest one of them all. As compared to the Spider Coast, here's the Para 2, PM2, Paramilitary 2, and the Para 3, right? There you are. So yeah, somewhere in between the Paramilitary 2 and the Para 3, right? Definitely smaller than the Para 2, uh, bigger than the Para 3. Let's do a quick Demco Brothers, right? Side by side. So this guy is going to uh, be, uh, yeah, bigger than the Demco AD 20.5 versions, both of them. The shark's foot blade and the clip point blade right there. Yep, you guys, uh, that definitely probably like a half inch, a good half inch or maybe a quarter of an inch uh, longer right there. By the way, I'm really seeing these guys right now as we speak. Can't wait to show you guys the review video, right? Can't wait to share that with you guys. Keeping it in the We Nice Civivi Sencut family, right? Uh, Sencut is a subsidiary of We Knife. Civivi is also uh, a sister brand to We Knife, so they're all under the same We Knife umbrella there. And so comparing it side by side, I wanna say it is exactly very close, if not the same size as the Sencut Crawley right there, right? You guys will be the judge of that. And it's maybe a hair bigger than the Saxy, right? The Saxy is shorter than the Crawley. It has a, you know, thicker blade of course but yeah very very comparable nice right there you guys let me know and the thing about these guys that these are also button locks right so uh the you know <laughs> one gripe i'm gonna get into later on uh actually i maybe shouldn't spoil it is the fact that these guys have uh, multiple deployment options right whereas the uh, button lock, Civivi button lock for the price. Actually, this guy comes in a little bit more money than the Senkot variants there. So we'll get more into that later on. You now those other guys have a lot more deployment options than the Elementum button lock. But uh, yeah, I'll talk more about that in just a second. Here it is compared to the Rap Model 1 and the Rap Model 2, right? Ontario Rap Model 1, that's still gonna be a bigger knife, right? The Ontario Rap Model 2, much smaller knife. So yeah, this one is a lot closer to the Model 1 than it is to the Model 2. All right, you guys be a judge of that right there. Since we're here, let's do a quick, um, you know, folded comparison there next to the Para 3, 
PM2, right? These obviously are gonna be much wider knives to carry in your pocket. Great thing about the Elementum button lock, you know, being a lot, you know, maybe like stretched out a little bit from the original design, still very slim, right? Still very gentleman-like. And that's what I liked about it. That's why I also got it in all black, right? And you can see that right there. Here it is compared to the Demco Brothers on both blade variants right there. So I wanna say, you know, they're just as tall, but obviously the Demco AD 20.5, so you're gonna be a little bit you know wider right on the pocket all right so a quick comparison then to the sand cut uh, brothers we were just looking at a second ago right it's going to be a lot closer to the crawley than it is to the saxi right so the crawley there right it's going to be probably about the same width whereas the saxi because of the blade right it's going to be a, a little bit wider than these two and last but not least we have the rap model one and rap model two the model one is going to be definitely wider it's a much longer wider knife uh, i want to say maybe the model one is probably the closest on how probably the closest on you know being just as narrow as the uh, Savivi Elementum so a lot closer to the Model 2 than it is on the Model 1 right there and in case you're wondering we didn't forget about the Savivi family we have the Savivi Elementum OG right here it's probably gonna be around the same exact same width and then the Ortis might be just a hair a little bit wider because of you know the blade sticking out right there by the way I found out the Ortis is the only knife that when you push the table right it, it likes to dance a little bit just like that kind of kind of gets annoying a little bit sometimes <laughs> when i'm doing my reviews all right quick uh, carry profile here right next to the pair of three all right uh pair of three a little bit thicker there uh the pair of two or pm2 is going to be mm, arguably a hair bigger but very very comparable right demco brothers of any kind all right they're gonna be a little bit slimmer than the Civivi compared to the Senkat uh, Crawley that's going to be a wider right fatter knife right there same with the Saxi are you guys be the judge of that and they're not by much right not by much Rap Model 1 of course is going to dwarf this guy look at that yeah definitely a lot thicker right there and the wrap model 2 all right probably very comparable to the wrap model 2 right the Civivi elemental might be a little bit thicker than this guy next to the og elementum all right let's see hard to see hard to line them up next to each other but they are pretty much exactly the same width which is very nice that uh, Civivi did that here it is next to the ortis all right about the same width as the orders as well okay going back to that action really quick right so this guy has one deployment option and that is this button right here that is the only deployment option that this guy has uh it does have black g10 i kind of went for this all blacked out version right everything is blacked out the hardware the clip the blade uh the liners the you know scales right and so um you know there's uh, lots of i want to say pros and cons with it being completely um just button lock deployment only type of knife before i get into that it does have a 14c 28n uh blade which is printed right there really tiny i doubt the camera is going to even pick it up this one is an all black and typical civivi fashion here i'm trying to avoid not sneezing in the middle of the video uh, um, in typical Savivi fashion, you have a deep pocket carry right there, and uh, yeah, that gets the job done. Very similar to the uh, deep pocket carry on the original uh, Elementum, right? Similar to the one in the Ortis. You can kind of see a resemblance right there, right? Very, very similar pocket clips, and I mean, that's for a reason, right? They get the job done. See, unlike the Savivi Elementum OG, where you have a linear hole, on this guy, you have the this mechanism here in the back, which is very similar to how they did it in the Ortis right so you have just that one bar right there and then you could just 
pass your linear through it, right? So it's kind of interesting that they kind of went with that design instead of the linear hole on the original Civivi uh, Elementum. As you guys already know by now, we do a hardware check in every video, right? My tools are very affordable, guys. You can find them in the description. This is part of the Strabito tool set, and it brings all kinds of screwdrivers and drill bits that you may need to take apart your knife, or even just in general for things that you may need to take apart in the house. Check out the links in the description below. They are affiliate links. They help out the channel at no extra cost to you. All right, so T8 on the pivot and also on the frame here, right? These are gonna be T8 as well. I wanna say the pocket clip is definitely gonna be a T6. So T6 and T8. All right, is that the case? Surely enough, right? T6 on the pocket clip. Oh, butterfingers. And then T8 everywhere else in the knife. So that gives you a good idea there on the hardware. I did wanna mention, right, uh, the pocket clip is reversible. You can put it on the other side as well. So that's something to keep in mind there also. Uh, as far as the inside, this guy, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it is milled, and I'm sorry, it's all black. It just makes uh, it makes it difficult for the camera. There you go, hopefully you can see it from that angle there. So it is milled on the inside, which helps with the weight. That's actually the next bit that we're gonna do here. So let's do a quick uh, weight check right on this guy, since we're here. For comparisons really quick, remember the Civivi Elementum was 2.8, and the Ortis, if you haven't checked out the review yet, the Ortis, was 2.9 so both of these were under that three ounces um, I guess golden threshold right so here we go the button lock obviously is a little bit of a bigger knife eight inches overall longer blade comes in at 3.3 uh, ounces guys 3.3 ounces overall weight let's do it one more time for fair measure, there it is, right? 3.3 ounces. At 3.3 ounces, guys, this feels a, like a very, very good um, EDC knife right here. And a lot of it has to do with the blade, right? The blade has to be a certain length and a certain weight in order for it to you know, be able to swing open and close the way it does on this guy. Also wanted to mention, so this is a drop point design, all right, just like the OG Elementum, there's some uh, jimping going on right there. In the top, you can probably see it from right there, all right, some jimping right there, which is very, very nice. Of course, you got the Civivi logo, which, um, you know, it's a little bit smaller than the Civivi logo on the OG Elementum, but it makes sense. They had to make room for the button. There is a good, a very good sharpening choil right here. So that's also very nice when it comes time to sharpening your blade. I did want to say, and maybe the light can pick it up a little bit. So I did get this guy in all black and as I was EDCing it here and there, I did get some marks on the blade, right? So that's something to keep in mind if you're maybe not wanting to, you know, uh, put any streaks or marks on your blade, maybe go for the satin uh versions out there but i wanted this guy to be kind of like a gentleman type of knife in all black and you can kind of probably see it from this angle a little bit better you know it doesn't bother me because you know that's what knives are for right they're meant to be used meant to be uh beaten right uh meant to be uh you know uh implemented into i don't even know what i'm saying uh but yeah you guys get the idea all right, let's do a quick blade stock thickness on this guy. Let's check out the blade here. Shouldn't be too different from the OG Elementum. So it's gonna be, I wanna say here, thickest part is gonna be 0.11 inches. And at the very tip, we should be dealing with 0 0.02, 0 0.02, all right? Pretty comparable to a lot of other knives that we have uh, reviewed in the channel as well. I want to give credit to the fidgetability, that's your new word of the day. So this guy is uh, very fidget friendly, right? So the way it works, you push the button and you don't just leave a press. You have to push and let go, push and let go, swing your hand and it opens, push and let go and it falls shut, right? That's it, simple as that. So you want to push and let go, push and let go each and every single time and then you get an action that looks like this. 
And by the way, when that knife is locked, there is um, no other way to open the blade except for pushing the button, right? Except for pushing the button. So that's something else you wanna keep in mind with this guy. So you could carry this guy whichever way, right? That blade is not opening. And the chances of you hitting that button in your pocket are gonna be slim to none, right? Because it definitely requires a certain level of pressure right there in order for you to be able to, you know, get it to disengage the blade right and you can kind of see it for yourself so if i put it at an angle push the button you see the blade just swings out uh that's, that's a good thing about it right very very fidgety uh i love edc in this guy for the time that i have and also look forward to edc in this guy every single time as part of my uh weekly monthly rotation i also uh would carry this guy for let's say a special event or uh maybe if i'm going to uh somewhere where i'm you know wearing a suit or what have you uh, uh, yeah, this is a very gentleman gentleman knife um, style knife, right? Because it's all black, very slim, right? The whole aesthetics of a gentleman knife, you got that all here with the button lock. Now, I will say this, right? Let me <laughs> address the elephant in the room here. So you have two Senka siblings here, because again, they're part of the same company. And the thing about these guys is they have multiple deployment options. And that's my only gripe with the Civivi Elementum, Elementum button lock. Right, it's the fact that you can only you can only open and close this guy with the button, and that's fine. And there's a lot of again fidgetability with that, which is great. And a knife is not a toy, you know, and all that blah blah blah. Great, fine. But for people that do enjoy, you know, a nice fidget knife and whatnot, right? Uh, the Senkut Crawley right gives you the option to still use the button lock, so you can still do the you know button opening and close, just like the um elementum button lock you can flip right just like the original element you can flip it open which is still nice right you're probably saying okay miguel where they just put out a civivi element button lock 2 which has the button and the flipper but then on top of that the senka crawley can also be thumb deployed right which i don't think that new uh civivi elementum can right thumb deployed and maybe not on this one but same deal with the saxi you can also a fourth deployment option would be to reverse flick right so you can do that with the saxi too so i got four different ways to reverse flick right thumb deployment the flipper and you always have the button itself right so a lot more options with these two, right? These two are up there and probably the most fidgetable knives. Let's even throw in the CJRB Pyrite. Look at this guy, right? This guy does not have a flipper. Still has a button, right? But on top of that, you have thumb deployment. So you could also thumb deploy it and you can reverse flick it all day, every day, as long as your index finger doesn't get in the way. But yeah, right there. So again, multiple deployment options. This should probably be a whole different video right there talking about uh, fidgety knives and things like that. But you get the idea, right? I just wanted to drive home the point that what this OG button lock uh, from Civivi on the Elementum was missing is multiple deployment options. And again, that's just a, a personal gripe of mine. You know, you, it might not be an issue for you. You may be just fine with that, right? Um, you know, it might not bother you all that much. So with that in mind, I did mention earlier, it is deep pocket carry. When this thing is on your pocket, there's nothing showing whatsoever. And because you get it in all black, the clip is also black. And so it doesn't really call attention all that much. I want to say this guy is probably, or it's going to be a little bit, whoa, a little bit handle heavy for sure. But yeah, the balance is about right there, a little bit behind the actual button itself. That's where it's balanced. So this is a drop point blade shape, very similar to the original one, of course, right? That's what makes an Elementum an Elementum. And so the same thing I said on the Elementum review still stands on this review, right? It's the fact that if you take every single blade shape of every knife out there and you take every single handle shape of every single knife out there and you kind of average them all out, right? You're probably going to end up with a design very similar to very vanilla design like the Civivi elementum and that's not a bad thing that is not a bad thing because for everyday tasks right when you have a knife that is this good looking right this ergonomically friendly right you definitely cannot 
go wrong, right? Uh, as you can see here, I can get a full four finger grip. There's plenty of handles still showing, no issues there. Um, uh, yeah, questionable to forward choke on it. There's no finger choil here. That's a sharpening choil. So I wouldn't recommend that. And I wanna say, you know, my fingers are well out of the way of the button. And, you know, I wouldn't see myself uh, pushing the button in any way unless I, you know, intentionally wanted to. That blade is rock solid in place. That blade is not going anywhere. So this is a very, very solid lock. And the way this works, if the camera can focus right notice, when I push this button, look what happens to the blade. All right, you see it there? And then as the blade opens, right, the, this disc slides into place. Boom, and that's what locks the blade in place. All right, push the button again, right, you get the idea. We of course have to do the customary paper test here, All right, so let's see. All right, look at that, even after weeks and weeks of EDCing, right, that is one thing that there are no questions about with EDC. Um, that is one thing that there are no questions about with Civivi knives, right? They come super, super sharp out of the box, right? Right, and especially if you, the faster you make the cuts, the better, right? Look at that. All right, that one is all my fault because I, I cut the sharpening choil there. I'm running out of paper here, try to give it a good cutting angle. But you see, it's getting the, getting the job done. Getting the job done for sure. And then keep in mind, guys, this is weeks and weeks after, you know, EDC and this guy and making daily cuts. Obviously, I'm not gonna cut a tree down with this knife. I'm doing daily tasks like, uh, you know, cutting uh, cardboard, uh, opening boxes, letters, you know, daily tasks around the house, cutting a rope here and there, stuff like that. But yes, yeah, definitely retaining a really, really good edge. All right, guys, so that being said, let's do a quick summary on this guy. Again, we have 14 c 28 and steel. Uh, we have this old black design that I went for with uh, black G10 handles also. Uh, the liners, everything. Uh, liners are male. They're all black also. Deep pocket carry in black as well. Uh, it is a button lock and a button lock only. That is the only deployment. So love it or hate it, um, you know, that is the only deployment method this guy has. Honestly, though, I've grown to uh, enjoy and love this guy for what it is right I like the fact that you know unlike some of the other guys sometimes when I swing my saxy or my crawly here too much the blade might want to jump a little bit and that's because these blades actually don't lock in place the great thing about this guy is that the blade isn't gonna jump at all right once the blade locks it's locked for good it's not going anywhere right because the you know it's locked in place and it doesn't deploy at all unless you push the button a second time so that's definitely a great thing uh, again i like the longer size of the knife overall uh, makes it edcing it more comfortable than the og elementum for sure i could definitely appreciate the extra length uh, i think these vv elementum og though kind of gives those folks that have more stricter laws and whatnot the ability to carry a knife that's under three inches of blade whereas the uh, bond lock here this longer size version right it's going to be a little bit bigger obviously so check your local laws i'm not an attorney right hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh, uh, if there's anything that you guys uh, think that I'm missing, any feedback, any additional questions, concerns, anything like that, please let me know in the comments. I would love to answer um, any questions you may have or take any feedback that you may have for future videos. By the time you're seeing this video, by the way, chances are uh, the Civivi Centilia, this little guy right here, right? The review for this guy is probably already live on the channel. So if that's the case, I'm gonna put a card right here for you guys to check that out next, right? Again, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.